Hello, Scorpio viewers. I'm going to get right into the reading. So whatever the cards want to say, whatever the story is, we'll just see what wants to come out. As always, I do private readings. So if you'd like a private reading, just email me at dragonenchantress at AOL.com. That's right below in the description box. And I really appreciate your comments, even just leaving a heart comment. Just any little thing helps. I'm trying to get back in the YouTube algorithm again. Ace of Wands, the Emperor, the Empress. Okay, this is a pretty good reading. We have Three of Cups. Could be some kind of sexual energy or drinking or partying. This could have just happened or this could be coming up. There's some kind of like passionate sort of energy here. But this is like, this is a power couple. Whoever I'm reading, it's like you're very strong. You're very strong-willed. You're very opinionated. You're very honest. You have a lot of life experience, male or female. And your person is, you know... Your person is the emperor or the empress, uh, and it's like you guys are a divine match. This is all four kings combined and all four queens combined. So it's like this is this is like a twin flame or soulmate union that I'm reading on. Eight of Wands, Four of Swords, the Magician. Let's see what's going on here. The Nine of Cups. Is this what I think it is? Somebody has a lot of sexual desire for you, but they do not want to move too quickly. So this could be somebody new where maybe in the past they've just, you know, slept around too quickly. Or maybe they were kind of like an F boy or F, F girl in the past. Like they just overdid it a little bit. And I feel like they want to make sure that they have something stable here. So the attraction is there. The the charisma that, you know, I mean, the chemistry is there. We've got the Ace of Wands, which is kind of phallic. So that could be like a sexual symbol. And then Three of Cups. It's like somebody is wanting to come in quickly. And I feel like this might be when they're drinking or you're drinking or if you guys are out somewhere together. It just feels like a like heat of the moment, like in the... Like someone's going to kind of let their passion get the best of them almost. But I feel like they're stopping themselves or they just did stop themselves from reaching out and from saying too much or doing too much. It's like they want to do this right. So either this is, like I said, a new person who doesn't want to move too quickly. They want to make sure there's a balance. I feel like this person has issues when it comes to their sexuality, like maybe just just moving too quickly when it comes to sex in the past. Um, or this could be like an old person who wants to come back around, but they just want to make sure that it's stable. This could have been like a friends with benefit situation too, where they're trying to come back around, but they don't want it to be the way that it was before. They want to, it's like they want to develop something with you. They want to develop a solid long-term connection with you and I feel like they're afraid if they rush things you know sexually if they if they give into whatever this passion is if they give into it too quickly they're afraid that they're not going to have that solid base with you you know because this is what they're wanting the empress the emperor they're wanting to be that power couple they're wanting a strong foundation with you whether it's, it's going to be for some it's an old person for others it's a new person we'll, but we'll get more into it but yeah, this person is trying to manifest you. They still have some more healing work to do. So they are doing the shadow work. Some of you are kind of, um, I feel like some of you are almost feeling like, like, what's wrong with me? Am I not attractive? Like, why is this person not more flirty? Um, and I think this reading is basically just saying, you know, the desire is there. The sexual attraction, the chemistry, all of it is there. Um, but again, they have some healing work they need to do, some contemplation I feel like they're also having these epiphanies in this Four of Swords energy, and they're going to come out of it in a completely brand new energy. They're going to come out of it the magician, which is somebody who just kind of, you know, very driven, very strong sense of willpower. And this is kind of like just making the world your oyster energy. They're realizing that their wishes with you are not going to be fulfilled. Like what they're wanting, it's not going to happen unless they get in that magician energy and they make this happen. So tell me more about what, what comes next. So Seven of Cups, Illusion, Sneaky, and we have Seven of Swords. So Illusion, Sneakiness. What else? What are you telling me here? What are you trying to tell me here? King of Cups. The High Priestess.
I feel like there is some sort of illusion here. I feel like they're afraid because you're the high priestess, whether you're male or female, you're in the high priestess energy. And I feel like they're in the king or queen of cups energy. And so with the high priestess, it's like the high priestess is very intuitive, uh, all knowing, but she doesn't really speak. She just, he or she just sort of observes, you know, they know what's going on. They very spiritual, very psychic person, but they might not speak on what's going on. And I feel like this person almost, it's like they kind of are afraid that you don't see them as a king of cups type anymore. They're afraid that you see them in, in more of a, a shady, it's like there's this illusion. There's this sneaky kind of energy. Tell me more about, about all, what's going on here. Judgment, ace of cups. The Three of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune, Temperance. So let me actually, is it saying I feel like this person has a past that you, some of you know about their past, some of you don't, but I feel like this person has a history of maybe being, uh, maybe cheating, uh, possibly lying, just possibly disloyalty, um, maybe being like, like I said, like an F boy or F girl, like somebody that just kind of like jumps into relationships too quickly or they mess around too much. And it's, it's like they, this person wants to come correctly. And so there's this kind of awareness that you're waiting for this, that you're, it's like you're making a judgment call. You're like, where, where is my ace of cups? Like, I've been waiting for this ship to sail in. Like, I keep waiting and waiting and wait, waiting. And I don't see anything in the physical world. Like, where is this new start? You know, where is, where is this new start in love? Like, I'm not seeing my ships come in. I'm not seeing it manifest. And I think your spirit guides are kind of saying this person had to, it's like with temperance, they had to find a balance. They had to learn some karmic lessons. So it's not that they're not wanting to come forward. It's more that they have to come forward correctly and they know that. And so they're kind of at odds with themselves because they can feel this kind of energy from you where you're like, like what's going on? Are we doing this? Are we not doing this? But they, they need to go through these kind of karmic cycles and they want to make sure that they come correct. Tell me more about, tell me more about this energy that's holding this person back. And like I said, for some, this is a, I think it's like 50, 50 for some of you, this is an, this is an old person coming back around, you know, cause it does seem like you've been waiting on it for a while and you know, you're, you're not aware that they're working on themselves behind the scenes, that they're trying to work on these issues that maybe they didn't talk to you openly about because they didn't want you to look at them a certain way. Like, let's say this person has like a pattern of cheating in relationships. It's like they really want to make sure they do this correctly. Or let's say they have like a sex addiction. Let's say this is one of those situations where it's like I said, you guys were like, you know, just messing around, but it was kind of friends with benefits, like kind of situation. It's like they know that they can fall back into that pattern easily. And maybe you're very attractive and very seductive. And so it's like they want something solid with you. They don't want it to just be based on sex. So it's going to be different for everybody. For some, it's not really about the sex. It's just a general, you know, bad habits that they have, such as cheating that they need to work on. Only take it if it resonates. For others, this is a new person. And it's like you've been trying to manifest new love for a while. And so now that you have this here, you're like, what the hell? Like, you know, like maybe you have someone that you have your eye on and they maybe didn't expect to meet you and it kind of manifested quickly. And you're like, what the hell? Like, why isn't this person asking me out? And so it's like kind of showing you what's going on behind the scenes, like what the holdup is. But yeah, let's look more into these. You know, there's some lessons here. They're balancing their energy out. They're working on some stuff so that they can come correct. Give me more more insight into this. The devil. What's okay? What's the devil energy about? Nine of Swords. Yeah, they have a lot of anxiety that you're not gonna accept them as they are. The the love is mutual though. It looks like. Ten of Wands. Five of Cups. King of Pentacles. 
Tell me, why is the King of Pentacles here? What is the King of Pentacles saying? For some, it could be an earth sign. The star, the King of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. So I'm kind of getting, it's almost a sad energy. It's kind of very sweet. I actually feel kind of bad for this person. It's almost like they have these very deep abandonment issues and it almost seems like they just kind of feel like everybody just leaves them sooner or later. Like everybody just, like nobody really believes them, but nobody really believes in their potential. Not like you did. You know, nobody really sees the best in this person. It's very sad. It's like they feel very alone. They feel... Like when they're at their low points, it's like nobody really sees the good in them. And I think this person is so terrified of you seeing them the way that their exes have seen them or other people have seen them. So I think this is, I think this is somebody who, like I said, it's like, there's some kind of devil energy. Take it as it resonates, you know, and, and if this is your story, if it's going to resonate, if it's not resonating at all, that's this probably not your, your energy group or this particular story isn't for you. So don't try to force it. But, you know, like I said, the devil energy, it's, it could be a sex addiction. It could be gambling. It could be, you know, drinking or drugs or all of the above, but there's something, there's a secret this person has. There's something that you don't know about this person. And I feel like, how did people see them in their past? Let me, let me go into that really quick. The moon. Yeah, so like illusion, secrets revealed, queen of wands, eight of swords. Let's see here. Four of cups. Page of Cups, Page of Wands, Immature, Childish for one thing, The Chariot, Three of Swords. This person just feels like, what is that, what's that song I'm bad at love? It's like that kind of energy where they feel like they've had these opportunities with these amazing people. And this could be the type of person that's like, oh, I dated these exes and they were horrible and abusive and they did this and this and this to me. But like deep down when they're alone, I feel like they don't actually think that like they actually do see their role in things. So they actually do feel like they've had these charming male or female, charming, charismatic people. And that they've almost put them in like a victim mentality and they've rejected the love that's there. And they've it, it's almost like they like these people tried with them and they only got their heart broken. And I feel like it's really a sad energy, though. Like, I do feel for this person because I don't think that this person is a bad person at all. I think there's someone who just really needs guidance. It's like whatever this is, this devil energy, there's some kind of secret here, some kind of secret. Um, again, different for everybody, cheating, some kind of addiction. But they have this really ang bad anxiety. They have almost like these sleepless nights. It's like they're in their head about it a lot. Because it's like they don't want to repeat patterns and they're like, well, what if what if this person, what if you see me the same way they did? What if I make the same mistakes? Like what if I, you know, have this pattern of cheating, of not being able to have self-control? Like what if I cheat on you? I couldn't handle hurting somebody like you. I couldn't handle breaking your heart. Um, like what if I, you know, what if I'm not good enough? What if I repeat my mistakes? Or if they're like a recovering addict or recovering alcoholic, they're like, they kind of just see you as too pure and too good for them. They're like, well, what would happen if I if I went back to pills or, or alcohol or whatever it was I was doing? Like, you know, I couldn't do that to this person. And I feel it's very sad because I feel like they haven't had the proper support. They've had a lot of people that just kind of almost like miscommunication with people where they've had these connections that they've kind of sabotaged where this, you know, these people have tried really hard with them. And then in the end, they just kind of ended up giving up and just seeing it, you know, chariot and three of swords, just kind of seeing it as a lost cause, feeling like it's not going anywhere, you know, letting go of the burden. And it's like, this person kind of sees themselves as a burden. They, they have this insecurity 
they feel like everyone lets them go in the end. They feel like nobody really believes in them. No one believes in their potential and they don't have that guidance that they need. It's like they're trying so hard to be a king or queen of pentacles type. Like they're trying to be loyal and grounded and stable and do the right thing. And it's almost like they just don't know how to do it. It's like they keep trying to put the energy into changing with the star. It's like they're trying to do it, but then they end up being like, in king or queen of swords energy instead like overly independent um kind of cold guarded closed off it's like they're trying to be loyal and stable and then it's almost like they just they, they lose balance this person doesn't it, it's like they really need some help getting to where they want to be like they're trying to be like i said they're trying to be the king or queen of pentacles they're trying to be loyal and grounded and I don't think that they realize that they come off as more of like, you know, closed off, cold. Like, you know what I mean? Like they might think that they appear mature, logical, stable to others, but really they come off as somebody who's very cold and very emotionally detached. So let's get some more insight into this. And like I said, if you want a private reading... My email is Dragon Enchantress. That's below in the description box. I really appreciate even just leaving a heart comment. Just any little bit really helps. The King of Wands, the Queen of Swords, the Six of Wands, the Page of Swords. Yeah, they are wanting victory. They're they're inexperienced. They're not sure how to get this victory with you, but they all they they're seeing you that you're in this Queen of Swords energy. It's almost like you're matching their energy. Um It's kind of like I think they're kind of cuz I'm looking at the King of Wands, it's like they're kind of like worried about coming off the wrong way. But they are trying to build something with you. Basically, this reading is just saying there's a lot that's going on behind the scenes. Tell me a little bit more. Let's just wrap this reading up. Tell me a little bit more about this this secret that they have. What do what do you what should you guys know about this? What should you know about this energy? Ten of Cups, the Hermit, the Tower, the Sun. Yeah, they've had to isolate themselves because they do want this Ten of Cups with you. They do want this, you know, home, family, love. But it's like they're going through a tower moment. They have to look at these patterns that they have. Otherwise, they know. And this is this is somebody that's self-aware, right? Yeah, this is somebody that's self-aware. So this isn't somebody who's unaware of their patterns. This could be somebody who blames others at times. But deep down, like, they know their role in things, even if they don't admit it to you. Like, this person might be prideful, but they still know their part in things, even if they're not admitting it. You know what I mean? Like, this person might say out loud that they blame all their exes for this and this. But, like, deep down, like, when they're by themselves and they think about it, they really do know what their role was in those connections and that behavior that was triggered. But yeah, they know to have the sun, they know to have this new start, they have to kind of isolate and go through the, the tower, go through the karmic lessons, have this new perspective, this new way of doing things. It's like one final battle left. But yeah, they want to build with you and they're holding on to that. They are holding on to that. Knight of Wands and of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Two of Swords here? The Fool, the Knight of Swords, Strength. Try to find that balance between coming towards you and giving you what you want, but not coming in so quickly that they just repeat old patterns when they haven't healed. And, you know, again, they're, they're so afraid of the secret coming out, whatever this is, it's like cheating or betrayal. It's like, they don't want you to know about this pattern that they have, or that something, it could even be a health issue for some. It's like, there's something that they're working on that they don't really want you to know about because they're so afraid that you're going to see them the way other people have seen them, that you're going to look at them as a lost cause, that you're not going to want to deal with it. You're just going to see them as a toxic karmic 
Um, and really, they see you as their divine counterpart. So it's it's like they're really trying to do the work behind the scenes. So that's kind of why they're suppressing their passion right now, again, because it's like if they give into their feelings or if they give into the sexual energy, the temptation too quickly, it's like they're going to just kind of lose themselves in you. They're going to just rush right in and just, you know, want to give you everything and want to commit. And then they're not going to they might fall back into old patterns and they know that. So they're trying to find that temperance and find that stability so that they can do this right with you. So anyway, I hope that helps somebody.